My particular passion, um, as I alluded to earlier, is not just, as I say, in preaching to make people feel good or give a sense of euphoria, but really to um, effect um, a change in ethical behavior and helping us as believers to understand what our ethical responsibilities are in a society that is uh, so divided, uh, in a society that is so broken, um, in a society that is so disjointed, where racism is still rampant, where sexism is still alive, where militarism and, and blind patriotism and, and heterosexism and all of the other isms that divide and destroy people, my constant uh, passion and challenge is what is the gospel saying to us? Um, how can our understanding of the word made flesh help us to create a society where no one is excluded, no life is devalued, no child is left behind? Um, uh, so uh, I'm constantly trying to connect in my preaching um, a, uh, an intent for personal piety with an intent for uh, change in public policy. Uh, and I'm constantly trying to connect soul salvation with social change. Um, Martin Luther King Jr. said that he was on a quest not just to save the souls of individuals, but to save the soul of America. And I think that uh, that, that, that should be um, the quest and the call of every minister, uh, every preacher of the gospel, to preach and teach and convey the gospel in such a way that people will step outside of individual silos, vote in many instances against their own best personal best interest in order to um, contribute to the common good and to value our brother, sister, the other, the stranger, wherever we encounter him or her. Um, Jesus says uh, in the day of judgment uh, that he will not ask us uh, anything about our doctrine, nothing about our faith confession, um, nothing about our denominational stance. Um, but the questions will be um, like this. I was hungry. Did you feed me? I was naked. Did you clothe me? I was a stranger. Did you welcome me? I was in prison. Did you visit me? Uh, and for me, um, that becomes... Um, uh, that becomes a guide for how I preach and what I hope uh, my preaching um, is able to affect, um, not only in the lives of individuals, but in the lives of communities.